Hi lovelies, welcome back to another Watch Me Work video. So really quickly, I'm just showing you the two main products I'm using for this set because I am creating a nude and rose gold acrylic full set. So I already went in and applied my tips, shaped them, prepped my client's nails and all that good stuff. And now you see me here, I just laid down my thin layer of clay acrylic and I'm going right on top of that with this nude acrylic powder from Picasso Nails Inc. I am going to use this nude powder to build up the entire structure of this nail because it's a core powder, I don't have to encapsulate it. So I just need to make sure that my apex area is where it needs to be and there is enough product on the nail for strength. Now, I'm going to be very real with you guys here. The struggle was real. Oh my god, it was so hot that the acrylic was setting so quickly. So I had to work in small but wet beads. So each bead that I put on the nail was wetter than the previous one to prevent any dry lines in this acrylic application because I'm not going to go over this with anything but top coat so I needed it to look as flawless as possible so I'm just going to go ahead and finish building the structure of this nail and I repeated the exact same steps on her middle finger and on her thumb So this nail is going to be my glitter ombre nail so I'm taking that same nude now I don't want this bead to be too big because I'm not building my apex with it so I do need to just make sure that my cuticle area is nice and flush and I'm going to blend it all the way to the free edge of the extension as I possibly can and right on top of that I'm going to go in with my rose gold glitter mix now this glitter mix is by glitter heaven Australia for those of you who are interested so all I'm going to do is make sure that my free edge is nicely packed with this glitter and then I'm going to feed it towards the cuticle area. 
If you guys want a more in-depth video as to how I actually do my glitter fades, I do have one where I explain a lot more and I will have it on your screen right now and then I'll list it in my description box below so you guys can check it out. After doing this, I am going in with a nice thin wet bead of clay acrylic. This is just to hold that glitter in place so when I actually go in and encapsulate this nail, it does not move like you see some of those chunky pieces moving now. I am going to go ahead and allow this to set and I'm going to move on to my other accent nail. So on this nail I'm just applying a thin layer of my clear acrylic and I'm going to start pressing that rose gold glitter mix immediately into that clear. Now I find for the chunkier mixes doing the acrylic on top of the nail nice wet and thin it actually gives me more control over the placement of the chunky mix rather than picking up the mix with a bead of clay acrylic because sometimes you can end up picking up too much glitter and when you place it on the nail it just looks very chunky and clustered and not very appealing to the eye plus when you have to remove all that extra glitter you're actually wasting your product so for me this way works better so I'm just going to continue to coat the entire nail with this glitter mix and then I'm going to allow this to set while I go back and encapsulate my glitter ombre nail and then I'm going to come back and encapsulate this nail I went in off camera file shaped and buffed and I'll meet you guys right back All I'm going to do now is add a small bead of my gem gel and we're just going to apply one little Swarovski crystal to the cuticle area of her middle finger and her pinky finger and I did two crystals on the thumbs because I find thumbs look so weird with just one little rhinestone by the cuticle area. I went ahead and killed this, applied my top coat and my cuticle oil and that was it for this set guys. It was so quick, so simple but yet so elegant. So of course I'll have a clip of the final results at the end of the video as well as some pictures to share with you guys. Don't forget before you leave if you're not yet subscribed you're aiming for our 10k. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure you turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss a beep when I upload next. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Saturday and a review it Thursday once I have a review to do for you guys. So definitely go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a diamond emoji with your comments in the comment section below. Maybe two, maybe three <laughs> if you really enjoyed it. So before I go, I'm going to give you guys five seconds to share this video. Thank you for sharing and that is it guys I am out as always I'd love for you guys to keep safe and I'll see you soon.